Agile Meatbusters. So myth one, Agile is methodology. This is most important Agile myth to debunk. Is Agile a methodology? So there is a lot of misconception and controversial information out there about whether or not Agile is methodology. A methodology will describe a step-by-step -step process of how to do things or how to achieve a goal. But in this sense, Agile is not a methodology. Agile is a mindset, is philosophy that describes a set of values and principles coined in the Agile Manifesto. In fact, the authors don't mention anywhere in the manifesto that this is a methodology. They describe four core values and 12 principles which they follow. Now, organization can be agile using different methods such as Kanban or different frameworks such as Scrum, extreme programming, etc. <coughs> Myth number two, agile equals Scrum. So how often you have heard that expression we are doing Agile project management. And under Agile, the presumption is actually we are doing Scrum. I heard it all the time. Often people assume that Agile equals Scrum, but they are not the same thing. Primarily because Scrum is a framework, while Agile is a mindset, an approach that follows a set of values and principles that many methodologies adopt, such as a Kanban, extreme programming, and so on. So Scrum is one of them that fall under the umbrella of the Agile principles and values coined in the Agile Manifesto. Myth number three. Agile is anti-documentation. So the myth that Agile doesn't favor documentation is very likely to come from misinterpreting one of the Agile manifesto values, which says, we value working software over comprehensive documentation. So the other confusion might come from the fact that Agile prefers face-to-face -face communication rather than entirely relying on written words. It is essential to understand that Agile is not anti-documentation. It's more accurate to state that Agile doesn't urge any team to documentation only for the sake of having it. It is more important to deliver a working product to our customer than to have detailed documentation up front. So let's conclude. Documentation is treated like any other deliverable on Agile project. <coughs> Myth number four. Agile means no planning. So the important aspect of Agile planning is that it's iterative. So you develop and adjust your plan multiple times as you find necessary. So the goal is to invest time in planning at the best possible moment and adjust to changes easily if they occur during execution plan phase. Planning is often less visible because Agile teams pursue planning as a series of smaller recurring activities to ensure that their plans reflect the realities of the present. So this way Agile teams develop a plan the same way they develop products by revisioning and adapting. You can see the Agile isn't anti-planning. It is anti-static planning. And if you had any doubts about whether Agile is anti-planning, by now they should be busted. <coughs> Myth number five. Employees get to do whatever they like. Which is not true. Employees don't get to do whatever they like. Actually, it's vice versa. Agile needs well-disciplined teams. So from my discussion with more traditional project managers, it seems like they fail to grasp the nature of Agile, a collaborative and iterative process, which involves adaptation based on discussion between the team, building the product and the client. This means that each team member should be ready to help its peers whenever they need to help, should collaborate with them and be open to acquiring new knowledge so that the team could deliver a faster and high quality of work. And this is definitely something which cannot be achieved through anarchy, but by having well-disciplined teams. Myth number six. Agile doesn't work for projects with deadlines. 
Again, this is another myth that Agile doesn't work for fixed deadline projects. Probably the confusion comes from the fact that you don't have to put deadlines on every task related to a given project. However, the whole project can have a deadline. At the end of the day, your clients need to know when the project will be completed. But what's not required is that exact finish day of each task. So, however, with this help of metrics, we track the average cycle time. We can better predict the deadlines of our initiatives. Myth number seven. Agile works only with small companies. I've heard this many times. Agile won't work for our company. We are too big. While Agile works best when implemented in small teams, doesn't mean that it won't work with larger organizations. It means that you will have to start small and then scale the implementation of Agile within your organization. So let's say that your company consists of 500 employees. What will happen if one morning you decide to switch from Outlook to Gmail in one batch without the proper preparation of your employees? And I will tell you, it will be a chaos. The same will happen if you decide to implement Agile on the all levels at the same time. So when implementing Agile, you need to consider the culture within your organization, the leadership and your employees' willingness to embrace the change. And remember, the Agile is not a methodology, but a set of values and principles. So from this point, Agile must be implemented in the small benches, perhaps in the small teams, working on a small project so that you can quickly receive feedback and you can reflect on it and make the proper changes and start the next implementation batch. When large organizations are embracing Agile, continuous integration of the process daily is a critical success factor. And if you are a larger organization working on large projects, Agile is more likely to help your organization achieve better results. Myth number eight. It's different. I've never used Agile before and I'm scared. It will be too hard to get my whole team on board with it. So we heard it before, too many times. And we realize Agile may be new to you and to your company, but quickly becomes apparent that projects consistently run smoother on Agile and better results are produced. Plus, you likely can admit that waterfall isn't the perfect process. While it might feel like it is more under control because everything is mapped out from the beginning, projects clearly take longer than they need to and cost more than they should. So Waterfall also doesn't allow the flexibility to change things in the middle of the project as new insights come to life. Myth number nine, fixed budget. Well, I have fixed budget that doesn't work with Agile. Nothing about Agile says it cannot meet a strict budget. Agile gives you dedicated resources, so generally there is a fixed cost to a sprint that includes X team's members. An Agile team can estimate approximately how long it will take to complete the goals that you have outlined and that will give you a budget. As the project evolves and you choose to add a new feature, Agile lets you drop a similarly sized feature so that you can stick to the initial budget. Myth number 10. It's unpredictable. Agile can be unpredictable, but all projects are unpredictable. It is impossible to know exactly what your end user want. Agile embraces this unpredictability and leverages it to produce better results. Myth number 11. Developers make all the features. So another common misconception of Agile is that the developers get to choose what is important and when is something implemented. That could not be further from the truth. Before each sprint begins, there is a comprehensive sprint planning meeting where all key stakeholders determine which features will be implemented in that sprint. This meeting includes developers, designers, business people and anyone else involved in the product development. So it is not just developers that are determining what is going to be built. Myth number 12. It doesn't consider long-term planning. 
So some people believe that because Agile focuses on short, iterative releases, it doesn't take into account long-term planning needs and goals. Agile benefits the long term. At the minimum, it is just a different meaning to get to the end. Having something that you can test earlier in the process lets you make a better decision for the and finally, myth number 13. It requires more teamwork. Agile requires collaboration between designers and developers. Unfortunately, most designers and developers love to collaborate. While there can be a bit more upfront work to get anyone on the same page, the result is better product, faster and for less money. Oh, no, no.